So hello everyone and welcome to our class today. This is Casey coming at you again from Casey Hall. Let's start with a word of prayer. Father, thank you Lord King of Glory for this class today. Thank you Lord for giving us opportunity Lord to have gathered here Lord today for this class Lord. I appreciate you, I honor you and I adore you Lord. We give you the glory, honor and adoration Lord. As we're about to start this class Lord, I pray you come and start with us Lord King of Glory and end also with us. In the name of Jesus, help us to be able to teach and help us to be able to learn from this in the name of Jesus. So please, if you are new to the channel and you're yet to subscribe, please subscribe to this channel, like this video, share the video and tell a friend about the channel to help the channel to grow, to help more people to get these videos. As much people are also interested in such video, it will help them to get um, this video. Because as soon as you like the video, it helps the algorithm to push the video to more people. So please do this for us. And then for those who also need such a um, tutorial, um, God bless you. Amen. So I just want to show us three, um, just three tips on the piano. Just three things you may know or you may not know. Um, just very simple things. Okay. So number one that I'm going to be teaching is trills and slurs. Trills and slurs. Okay. This. So, Just doing there, I'm going to be showing us some exercises that we're going to be using to learn this since we just want to be sharp with this, okay? So, this is what I do. I'm teaching this on the key of, of C. Okay, I promised us um, that I'm going to be showing us things on the key of F sharp more, and they will, can be touching other keys. So, let me just go to F sharp and teach this, okay? If not, we can actually do it. We can do it on the keyboard. The problem is not everybody here, please keys this was a i just used so let's just do it on the key of f sharp okay and i was really such a remote and in mean, such a way that everyone can learn okay so what i do i just use this to run my um the atonic scale um, chord okay that's what i do that's the exercise i used so when i was learning this i did For the one, which is the do, what we have on the left is do la ti. That is one six seven. On the right, we have three six seven three. Okay. Then for the second, we have and so what I well, okay, that's for the one. The second, we have two flat seven and one. Then on the right, we have four flat seven one four. This is for the three. On the left, we have three one two. So now we have five, one, two, five. For the four, on the left we have four, two, three. So now we have six, two, three, six. Okay. This is for our five. On the left we have five, three, flat five. So now we have seven, three, flat five, seven. Then this is for our six. On the left we have six, four, flat five. She have five, sorry. Then right, we have one, four, five, and one. And this was seven. On the left, we have seven, five, six. And then right, we have two, five, six, two. Then we are back to our one. The reason I'm using number is so that everybody will be able to just transcribe it to your own keys. Because if I use numbers, it will be easier. If, if not, if I'm calling F, T flat, E flat, it will be difficult for every other person to move. F sharp, D sharp, and F to their own key since the keys will vary, but using the number everybody will be able to move it to their own key. I hope that's okay. Thank you. So, 
that's first there. Um, so now, um, what I now do is, let's say for the one, this middle note is where the whole work is. First exercise I take for it is the so two. You just when what you do is from these two notes, you just come back from the second one, then back to this one. you can just use to rehearse that we also have things like use for it but as I've already explained this on this channel before you can just go to just search for um, source chords and you see everything there and um, you can also join my one month class where I teach everything in detail the in-depth of it the in-depth of it I show us how it is formed and um, everything that you need to know to play it like a pro all right I teach that so you can just reach me on the number on the screen to get uh, my monthly class to join my monthly class and we'll get you rolling okay so that's the first tip i'm going to be showing us so you can just use it for yourself sometimes okay just try to take yourself on lane then the second i'm going to be teaching is the sharp 11 major 11 sharp 5 oh sorry major sharp 11 because i think it's a major sharp 11 right major sharp 11 major sharp 11 The major sharp 11. Yeah. So now what I do is the, the, the trick behind this is whenever I'm going to my four, I use the major sharp 11 as a leading note to my four. So now the major sharp 11, I usually use it for um four and for one. Okay, I use it for my four and I use it for my one. So I'm gonna be showing us how I use it for my four and how I use it for my one also. Alright. So for my four, let's form it first. This is B. My four is B because we're mentioned my four is B, right? So this is B. This is my ninth, my B major nine, right? So this is where my eleven is. That is a sharp eleven, right? So it's basically we play something like this. Do you understand? This is my B. This is my eight, right? Let's call it eight. But the reason we don't mention is because it's already here. So this is my nine. This is supposed to be 10, but don't mention because it's usually here. 
your niece is available, and this is shop available. So this might be shop available. So what you can do is you can add this if you want to. use it for on my four is I use it as just a resolve to my four. So let me use the song for instance. It is ready all over me. We taught this in a um, previous video what I'm gonna be using. I can feel it. I don't know if that's how the song is sound. Thank you Jesus. A small rain. You see that that's the major level sharp nine. Um, that's the major sharp eleven. You see how beautiful it's a give a small rain. See the result. Sounds better on it's usually this four. Uh, for the one, it makes the stuff everything sound jazzy, sort of okay. So for my one, right? This is my one, man. This is my. Like we just did before. So, so this is it. This is it, right? So wait, the other time we just added one note just to make it beautiful. So we just see how the same notes. It's still the same chord, it doesn't change. Alright. So we just do we use this to end a song maybe like that. Now let's invert this downwards. And you know this note is in the chord, so let's just put this note in. Jazz instead of uh, da, 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 I already have like a string, so that's why it's this hard. But it should be soft, like as you're going, it should even the softness should reduce as you're going, okay? Like that. And most of the time, before you use it, make sure it's a song that ends on the major seventh. Alright. Make, make sure you end your song on the major seventh before using it. the second I'm going to be doing. And the third I'm going to be teaching, I particularly like this one. Um, 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 try it, oh, what is it called? Um, chromatic passing chord. Chromatic passing chord. I have taught this before, but so many years back. Okay. And I'm just trying to retreat some of this for some persons who didn't meet us then and couldn't get this. Okay. So, Chromatic practice passing chord, there are several we could do. We could do. There's a song I know. The song is. So we do the passing note like that, passing chord like that. So it's chromatic passing words, everything is moving down chromatically, right? So what I'm doing here is I'm going from my two to from my three to two. Two three flat two flat three two. Let's just use that. Three flat three two. Okay. So that's what I'm doing on the left. Then on the right, what I'm doing is five. 
And everything sent into a flat, a, a chromatic now movement to my phone. So it's a chromatic passing chord, right? Same thing, but let me show us another one. Um, instead of 514 normally that we're doing, we usually do this right. And then we're supposed to do that chromatic passing chord. So now, instead of 5, instead of 5, 5, 5, Just said I should show some tips that we could just use to put in a day to day song. So let's see. As the deep right. So very simple. I just said I should just try and use it itself so that I'll see how it works. So this is basically what I'm going to be teaching in this class. God bless you. I'm going to see you in the next class. Please like this video, share, and tell a friend about the channel. Thank you.